Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into the brand new Tailwind CSS v4 and learning how to implement a clean and responsive dark mode toggle in a React.js application. Tailwind just dropped some exciting changes in version 4, including simplified configuration for dark mode, and in this tutorial, I'll walk you through everything step by step. Whether you're updating an existing project or starting fresh, by the end of this video, you'll have a fully working dark mode switch that feels seamless and modern. So let's not waste time, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's jump right in. All right, first, let's create a React app. I'm going to use Vite for faster setup and performance. Open your terminal and run npm create Vite at latest. Now install the dependencies by running npm install. And start the development server by running npm run dev. Now you can see our app is running in the browser. Let's clean up the boilerplate code we don't need. First, go to app.jsx and remove the unused imports, any hooks, and everything inside the return statement. Next, delete the app.css file. We don't need it. And finally, open index.css and remove all the default CSS. So now we've cleaned up all the boilerplate code, and on the UI, you can see a blank, clean screen. Without further delay, let's install Tailwind CSS. Now that Tailwind CSS is installed, let's also install Lucide icons. We'll use them for the dark mode toggle button. Now let's set up Tailwind CSS in our project. First, open vite.config.js. At the top, import Tailwind CSS. Then use it as a plugin. Now, Tailwind is linked to Vite. Let's go into index.css and import Tailwind CSS using the new v4 format. We'll also define a custom variant for dark mode. Now that we've imported Tailwind CSS and defined our custom dark variant, let's move to app.jsx and start building the dark mode toggle. Before we start building the UI, let's make sure our app takes up the full height of the screen. For that, we'll set height 100% on the HTML body and root elements in index.css. This ensures that our app stretches to the full height of the viewport which is really helpful when using flex layouts or building full screen sections. Now we're ready to build the UI, so let's do it. Let's create a simple layout with a centered toggle button that switches between light and dark themes. Now let's add styles to the parent so it takes the full height of the screen and centers the content both vertically and horizontally. Now let's add a button to toggle the theme between light and dark modes. Now let's add the logic to toggle between light and dark mode. We'll start by creating a state to manage the theme, and then we'll render the icon conditionally inside the toggle button. First, we'll create a state variable to track the theme. We'll use the useState hook and set the default value to light. Inside this button, we'll conditionally render the icon based on the theme. If a theme is light, we show the moon icon to suggest dark mode is available. If the theme is dark, we show the sun icon to let users switch back to light mode. Now let's add some styling to the button to make it look clean and interactive in both light and dark modes.
So now you can see on the UI, our button is looking interactive. We've added a hover effect and a subtle shadow, which gives it a nice feel and improves the overall user experience. Now let's add a bit more interactivity by showing a dynamic message below the button. This message will change based on the selected theme, making the UI feel more alive and user-friendly. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see things more clearly on the screen. Now let's create a function called toggle theme that will handle the theme switching. Create a new variable, new theme. Here we're checking the current theme. If it's light, we switch it to dark. If it's dark, we switch it back to light. This new value is stored in a variable called new theme. Next, we update the theme state using set theme. So our UI will re-render with the new theme. Now we will apply the theme to the actual HTML element. We're using document.documentElement.ClassList.Toggle to either add or remove the dark class depending on the value of new theme. This line is what triggers Tailwind's dark mode styles in the entire app. Now let's attach the toggle theme function to our button so the theme changes when the user clicks it. So now you can see on the UI our theme toggling is working. The icon and text are changing as expected. But you might be wondering, why isn't the dark mode actually applying to the background and text? That's a good question. And the reason is, we haven't yet used the dark variant in our tailing classes. Basically, just toggling the dark class on the HTML element doesn't do anything by itself. We also need to tell Tailwind what should change in dark mode by using the dark prefix in our style. Now let's make our UI respond to dark mode. To do that, just use the dark colon point prefix with any Tailwind class you want to change. Let's say we want a different background color when dark mode is activated. We simply add a dark colon class and specify the color we want. Now let's update our button so it responds to dark mode properly. In dark mode, I'll add a different background color, change the shadow color, apply a different hover text color, For the dynamic message text that changes based on the theme, I'll also give it a white color when dark mode is active. Now you can see on the UI, our dark mode is working perfectly. The background color changes, the text updates correctly, and everything feels consistent when switching between light and dark themes. Now, you might have noticed, when I refresh the page, the theme resets. It doesn't remember if we were in light or dark mode. To fix that, we'll use local storage to save the selected theme so that even after refreshing the page, it stays consistent. To make the theme persist across refreshes, we'll update our toggle theme function. At the end of this function, we'll save the selected theme in local storage using set item. Now we've saved the theme in loco cage, but to actually use it when the app loads, we need to read it back and apply it. For that, we'll use the use effect hook. First, we'll get the stored theme from local storage using get item. This checks if the user has already selected a theme before. Next, if the stored theme exists, we'll set it using our set theme function. This updates the state so the UI reflects the saved theme. And finally, we'll apply the theme to the HTML element by toggling the dark class based on the value. This makes sure Tailwind applies the correct styles. Now you can see on the UI, our app remembers the selected theme, even after a refresh. Whether it was light or dark, it stays exactly the same, just like we want. And that's it. We've successfully built a dark mode toggle using React and Tailwind CSS v4. We styled the UI, added interactivity, and even made the theme persistent using local storage. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Also, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.